Let's get our velocity in Sekiro using Cheat Engine. And yes, this will work in a ton of other games too. But alright, let's do this. With the save game loaded and Cheat Engine attached, start by scanning for an unknown initial flow value. Then, if you can, enable the speed hack, set it to a low number like 0.25, and set the increase value and decrease value scans to hotkeys to make this easy. Now, what we're going to do is jump up and down in the air and scan for increase and decrease values. Let's reveal the velocity we're scanning for a bit so you can see what's happening. Okay, here we go. As soon as your feet leave the ground, scan for an increased value. Then, when you reach the height of the jump, scan for a decreased value. Then, wait a bit, and while still falling, scan decreased value again. And once you land back on the ground, scan for increased value. And now, we simply repeat. Jump, increased value, decreased value, decreased value, increased value. And just keep doing this until you stop seeing the results change very much. And since velocity is almost always going to be very close to zero when we're standing still on the ground, set the scan type to value between and run a few scans between negative one and one to eliminate more results. And we can turn the speed hack off now, and let's add all the addresses we've found to the address list, then sort them by value. Then select about half the results, freeze them with your spacebar key, and try to jump. If you can't jump like this, then one of the results you have selected is related to velocity. So delete the half that you didn't freeze. Then select another half of the remaining results, unfreeze them with the spacebar, and try to jump again. If you still can't jump, delete the half that still is not frozen. If at any point though you can jump, then the address you're after is not frozen. So delete the ones that are frozen. And just repeat these steps, selecting about half the remaining results each time, freezing them, and deleting the appropriate half until you get down to just one result. Now you can just browse the memory region with the display type set to float and grab the address just to the right of the address you just scanned for. And then the last one you need will be one row up and all the way to the right. And now you have your character's velocity, and you can make whatever scripts you want with them. 